Since it's Christmas, my kids has been asking me what is special today. So on Christmas day, of course, we would like to have something special. So in today's menu, I'm going to share with you all how to prepare shepherd pie. It's going to be very interesting and also very tasty. So now let's check it out. So now to begin with, I'm going to add about 2 tablespoons of olive oil. One, two. Once the oil is already hot, we'll add our chicken. Now let's cook the chicken first. So here I have two and a half chicken breasts which I've already minced. So I'm going to cook the chicken first. For now, I'm not going to add any of the ingredients or seasoning because I want the chicken to cook through and also release all the juice until it dries up and then we'll add the ingredients. Look at that guys, look at the amount of water that's coming out from the chicken. Yeah, so this is the, the water that we don't need actually. So we've got to cook through until it becomes really dry and then we'll add the other ingredients. So now our chicken is ready. As you can see, there's no water, so let it dry up. So next, I'm going to add one large onion which I have already chopped. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sliced garlic. This is about three cloves of garlic. Then I'm going to add one red chili which I've already sliced and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of smoked paprika then I'm going to add one teaspoon of black pepper and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder though we have garlic but I'm adding garlic powder and then I'm going to add 2 teaspoon of salt now let's mix them all together oh the smell is so good mm. can I taste so in my case I'm using the ready-made prego tomato sauce which we use normally for the pasta so I'm using that so I'm going to use one bottle of it yes mix them is very thick you can add water but to me I prefer this consistency because it's not too watery it's not too thick it's just nice to eat together with the potato for me this is fine so now let those all come together and let it come to a nice boil and then our chicken is ready so while our chicken is cooking let's prepare our potatoes so here I have three boiled potatoes really really hot as you can see it's really soft also just press them like that and then I'm going to add singles cheese I'm going to add just two of it you can use any cheese that you like so since I have this I'm using this it's good to add the cheese when the potato is really hot so it's easy for you to melt and also to bring the flavors together and then next I'm going to add Two teaspoon of salt. Okay. 
and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of smoked paprika and finally a bit of black pepper so now let's mash them all together the smell of the potato together with the cheese mmm so good so now our potato is ready let's get back to our chicken so guys now we are done with the potato as you can see our chicken is boiling the smell is so good. So our chicken is also ready. Our potato is also ready, but we are not done yet. I'm going to show you how to actually bring them together because we have another process to do. We have to put them together and bake in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. So now our chicken is done. Let's turn it off and now let's bring them together. So guys, now I'm going to share with you all how to layer the shepherd pie. So in my case, I'm using a huge mug like this. So you can use this or you can even use a Pyrex bowl. It's still fine. So first, I'm going to layer the chicken. Next, we are going to add the potato. So, we are done with that. Next, I'm going to put it in the oven and bake for about 8 to 10 minutes and then our shepherd pie is ready so i hope you guys enjoyed this video so please like my video share my video and also subscribe to my channel as i mentioned earlier i have more and more interesting videos coming up so stay tuned and check it out thank you